This has always been the People's Museum. Founded in 1883 as the Minneapolis Society of Fine Arts by generous and visionary men and women like Ella Martin and Emma Crosby. And by Clinton Morrison who gave the Villa Rosa estate to be the museum's new home on the hill. And Eugene Carpenter who led the drive to fund the dream. In 1915 they opened the museum that we know today as the Minneapolis Institute of Arts. Today, we are guided not only by their dreams, but by our own vision, dedicated to inspiring wonder through the power of art, and by our mission, enriching the community by collecting, preserving, and making accessible outstanding works of art from the world's diverse cultures. At the heart of the museum is the collection, art from around the world and throughout time launched through generous gifts like the William Hood Dunwoody Endowment, established in 1914, and Herschel Jones's collection of nearly 40,000 prints, brought to life in period rooms and bolstered by signature masterpieces like Rembrandt's Lucretia, the figure of Doriphorus, the Jade Mountain, the Ife Shrine Head, and Poussin's Death of Germanicus. We have grown the collection through foresight and the leadership of individuals with profound commitment and long-term devotion to the museum and this community, most notably through the generosity, passion, and leadership of Bruce B. Dayton. Bruce is the longest serving trustee in any art museum in America, and he has supported all aspects of our museum, serving on every board committee, providing advice and counsel, supporting each capital and fundraising campaign, and most significantly, changing the face and arc of the museum's permanent collection through unparalleled gifts of art and monetary support for acquisitions. The growth of the collection continues to this day and will proceed far into the future through generous gifts that inspire and enrich everyone who crosses our threshold. People have always been the reason we exist, both our audience and our stewards and patrons, whose generosity has endowed our curators and the work of our director and president creating space for art and for each other, bringing the collection to life and sustaining it for the future. Most importantly, we're here for you, everyone, every day, and for free. Since 1915, we've continued to welcome school groups, hosted tours, and created programs like Family Day, and Third Thursday. We've brought the treasures of yesterday and today from around the world and around Minnesota to this community. In 2015, we're celebrating a century with a year of birthday surprises that clarify our mission now and in the future. The future is bright for the People's Museum, filled with more masterworks, visited and supported by more people, from more walks of life, thanks to you. We were here 100 years ago, we're here now, and we will continue to be here in the next century and beyond, inspiring wonder through the power of art.